Welcome to first round coverage of the 101st edition of the Dutch Open. It's a new course this week, Bernardus Golf in Crumford. It's a fantastic golf course. New course records will be set, new memories will be made, and there's been some great champions. Slatten, local hero for a birdie putt at nine. Just sidles it up to the hole, and he's attached to this this golf course. Just he knows it inside out. How would you not want to be attached here? Oh, it's man. fantastic. Two-time winner of the Dutch Open in 2013 and 2016. So uh, certainly the crowd will be on his side, looking for a third win. McDowell just a pitch here at the seventh for his third. We were talking about McDowell's prowess when he's at his best. His last win in 2020 at the Saudi International, he was second for the week in scrambling. And fifth in strokes game putting. So when he's on, he is really on. Third shot for Peters, John. Yeah, I mean, very fortunate to find the cut stuff with his second shot with the ball well above him. Just missed the boards on the left. Not a great lie though, coming up and over the bunker. Gotta be cute with this. I like the way he has his feet together. But ankles almost touching, heels touching. Look at this. This is just quality. We say how good his short game is for a big man. He settles himself into his posture so well. And then he's got a really brisk rhythm back and through. Nice chance to get it well into the red numbers. Beautifully hold. Is to take the lead on his own. Can he be the first man to get to seven under? Yes, he can. A good round of 65 for the Irishman. Bogey free. It's Niall Kearney who leads the way. After that, 65 leads by one over Martin Simonson and Max Kiefer. Uh, just absolutely gorgeous pitchers, hole after hole. I don't know if you like the looks of the bunker shot, but Lefebvre playing a very good one, holds it. Well done, Martin Lefebvre, the 2003 champion. His only win on the European Tour, winning his home National Open. He did announce it today, this week is his last professional event. He is retiring. Lauten chipping out of the natural area. That's how you get the crowd going. What a shot from Lauten. He got a good clean lie, that helps, but you've still got to pick your spot. You've still got to get the pace right. And all of a sudden, He's ignited the galleries. 163 yards for Brandon Grace. Got to shake this one high. With a bit of left to right, get as much spin as you can. This has gone into the stratosphere. Well, there you go, shot of the day. You've just seen it. Things dialed in a little better today. Got his wedge play back under control. Just a stunning little shot there for G Mac. And makes his birdie. Fine day's work. 66. Only the one bogey. How about this? 211th in the world rankings. Just tipples over the ridge. 
what judgment of pace that is. This is rarefied air for him. This for the birdie. And Heligild is 11 under par with that round of 66. What a fabulous first two days. Broberg with that birdie at his final hole, the ninth, takes the lead on his own. A round of 64 sets a new course record, clubhouse lead. Good to see Christopher Broberg playing well. A good first two days. That's the way things stand. Christopher Broberg leads the way, set the course record and the pace. 64, 12 under par in total for 36 holes. He's looking for his second win on the European Tour. Six for Broberg, launching it down the right side. Perfect angle to attack this flag. Just an iron in hand to get some height on it. You saw on the tablet uh, that was just up there, four wins in the Challenge Tour. All were in 2012 when he originally earned his European Tour card. So five wins in all, including his one win on the European Tour, the 2015 BMW Masters, where he actually beat Patrick Reed in a playoff. A brilliant shot from Broberg. This one go in as well, it will. Broberg off to a dream start, five under par through five holes, stretches his lead to four early in the third round. He is coming out and he means business. Pretty centralized this pin, two big gullies, one left, one right, gotta dodge him. Can't see it, we off pin there. You saw the statistics there. Pretty good chance of winning with a six-shot lead. I don't see it. You don't need to, believe me. Well, this to keep the 59 watch alive and kicking. And I, I didn't see a lot of movement. I seen it stay out to the right. His playing partner's putt, and I think he knows that this ain't going to move as much as he thought. I thought it might move a little bit right to left, but I think it's a right edge putt, an inside right, just to be safe and sorry. Keep drifting, he's got it, he's got it. Oh, this is amazing. This is astonishing. Eagle for 59. Hashtag 59 watch. He's 11 under for the day. He needs three and eagle at the last for the second ever 59 of the European Tour. What a day. Is that? Five! 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 this wedge shot. Could he become the second to ever break 60? Started off right on line. I think that might have just been slightly heavy. shot that really took the chance of birdie out of his hands but what a round a round of 61 started the day with the lead he certainly has done better than that he had a one shot lead to start it is currently eight shots helicopter one behind overnight he wouldn't have thought he'd come out shoot 68 and go seven further back would he no certainly not mark final thoughts on the day well, it's all been about Broberg. He's been in the wilderness for a while, but that is a remarkable day's golf. And congratulations to him because that is a huge league going into Sunday.
And drill second to the 12. Solid final round of his National Open. Couple under par through the first 11. Birdies at four and 10, all the rest par. So very solid. So he's picked himself a spot at the top of the slope. He tries to hit it almost dead weight to that spot and then let gravity take the ball down. Anything, anything within a couple of feet, he'll be over the moon with. Now it starts to break and turn. Oh, it's online. Surely not. That is his shot of the week. Lovely, gentle, smooth swing there. And just to update you with that brilliant iron shot for Schmidt, he is bogey free on the day, out in the front nine in 31. He wants to get this one in six inches underneath the surface. Oh, that is absolutely massive. It's really the first time today he's been able to use that fist pump. Broberg struggling at 12. Six shot on the par five. Needs to get it up and down. His nearest challenger has an eagle putt. He's played this so well. Oh, so well. Oh, that is unbelievable. That is sensational. What a time to do that. That is just such a brave, brave pop. That is brilliant. That wasn't a fist pump. That wasn't a double fist pump. That was a five fist pump as he walked up to take that ball out of the hole, birding the penultimate hole. And that is the trophy right there with some real legendary names on it. And this name right here is about to join that list. I, I think he can barely lift his, his hand, Joe. He's so tired. Christopher Broberg is the 2021 Dutch Open champion. He didn't make it easy on himself. Started with eight shots in hand. It frittered away to two. But in the end, it's a smile and a second win on the European Tour for the 35-year-old Swede. I'm here with the champ, Christopher Broberg. How are you feeling, my friend? Uh, happy right now, but the game wasn't there today. I was like struggling all day. You know, I didn't feel comfy over the ball in the mist. But I'm happy is to pull it off. But the game was not there today. I mean, we're, you know, when you look at, you know, your kind of lead was eight shots and then it was all diminished, you know, down to four going into the back nine. And then all the fiasco that happened at 12, that chipping, how did that change your momentum for the rest of the round? Uh, it didn't change any momentum because I hit a bad free wood on 14, you know, in the water. But I did a great up and down on 15, so I'm happy with that. And then I just pulled my cheat shot on 17, but I made a putt for birdie, so I was... Yeah, I'm happy with that. I mean, you haven't won since 2015, and now you're a winner again, six years later. What have you been through, and how much does this mean to you now to be the Dutch Open champion? Uh, it means a lot, because... <laughs> Sorry. Hey, take your time, my friend. Take your time. <laughs> this is how much the game is meant to all of us. Don't worry about it. Yeah, buddy. Sorry. Hey, no, you're a good dude. I cannot talk. It's just. It's a hard game, buddy. It's a hard game. Did it? If you feel yeah, like you can say it, anything, you do it. Six years of help. It's so. It's okay, my friend. I'll let you go. You're a great champion. Well done, my friend. Thank you. The record is intact. No one with an eight shot lead or more has ever not won from 54 hole lead. Congratulations, well done. Woo! There you go. Uh, the fist bump from Peter Albers, President and CEO of KLM. Woo! 
No, he has certainly regained his composure. Looking at the fabulous names on the trophy, his will soon be part of that historic trophy. He is the 101st champion of the Dutch Open. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.